Graduates, it's now my distinct pleasure to introduce your commencement speaker, who will join you later today as a member of the class of 2017, receiving an honorary doctorate for a lifetime of extraordinary service. Northwood alumnus Mark N. Scarpelli is the National Automobile Dealers Association chairman for 2017, meaning he has been elected by all of his 18,000 colleagues across the country as their leader of this very prestigious trade association. He's also the president of Raymond Chevrolet and Raymond Kia in Antioch, Illinois, and co-owner of Ray Chevrolet and Ray Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Fox Lake, Illinois. In addition to his chairman role, Mark serves as Metropolitan Chicago franchise new car dealers on the NADA board of directors. Mark is dedicated to the many dealer professionals who he recognizes as foundational businesses in their home communities. Often, they're the largest employer in a given community. And Mark sees automotive dealerships as playing a significant role in the local community and in our national economy. So ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm Northwood welcome to Mr. Mark Scarpelli. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Get my remarks up and running here. Keith, thank you very much. Thank you for that great introduction and for inviting me to address my fellow Timberwolves today. Yes, I was a graduate here. It's a true honor to be back at my alma mater today. But the biggest honor of all goes to the men and women in their caps and gowns. So good afternoon, faculty, parents, and guests. And most importantly, good afternoon and congratulations to the 2017 graduating class of Northwood University. This is a day where it's okay to take as many selfies as you want. Do you guys want to do that? Let's do that, huh? So very good. And speaking of selfies, let's take a deep look at ourselves and our adult graduate lives. You've already been through a lot, and that's a great advantage today. You have more life experiences than other graduating classes today. You've seen more than this world has to offer than the younger classes below you. You've probably cycled through more versions of the iPhone and flip phones than many others here today as well. You've been on more job interviews, you've made more life transitions, and yet you still sought to further your education. So your diploma today says, I am ready to rise to the occasion. And I commend all of you for exemplifying the value of your education and at any stage in your life. So congratulations to you. Because of the many graduates that are here today and also parents who are also full-time jobs in their own, business owners, full-time employers, or even self-employed, you are a mix of Gen Xers, millennials, and even baby boomers. And today shows you that it's never too late to learn what you want to learn. And it's never too late to do what you want to do. That's true in business, and it's true in your own lives. And with the valuable education that you receive here today, an education that you can't get anywhere else in the world, along with the lifelong connections that you've made, you're capable of making your world even better than it is today. And making the world better is an inherent mission for everyone who holds a college diploma. Today should hold a very very special place in your heart. Because this is a day that marks your hard work and success. Today means a lot for your friends, families, and people who have supported you along the way. But your graduation also means something to the rest of the world. Because you are among the select who are entrusted with the future of it. The world has evolved since I was a student here at Northwood. And that was, I might add, just 31 short years ago. But I do see something familiar here in the crowd, something that I saw even in my graduating class. The students here, all of you, you're change makers. You adapt and you evolve with the world around you. 
And we need more of that. We need that more than ever. We need you. 2017 is a year of unknowns. After eight years of a Democratic presidency, you graduated in the same year of a historic election where a man ran against an accomplished woman in the presidential elections. Not to mention, there'll be elections all over the world and around the globe. Brexit will affect us here at home. Conflict is a fact of life abroad and in our own hometowns and streets. And Americans everywhere are cautiously optimistic about the Trump administration. So from the looks of things, you've earned your diploma just in the nick of time. Or maybe you want to stay in school just a little bit longer. What do you think? The world today needs the sharpest minds, the most resilient spirits, and the strongest of voices. And if you intend to be part of the American business world, that goes double for all of you. Some of you know that I live in the world of cars. Some might even say that I have gasoline running through my blood. Just like a fellow alumni here, Blake Coe, but he races cars at incredible speeds in NASCAR. I just sell them. I'm very proud to be a second generation auto dealer from Chicago. And before I was chairman of the National Automobile Dealers Association, and before I sat with members of Congress going over the effects of regulations, and before I was standing up for my fellow new car dealers across America, I was pushing a broom at my family dealership. That was my first job. I'm fortunate enough to be in the car business and have it passed down to my brother and I. And going into the auto business wasn't with its, uh, without its hardships as well. Many people don't know that the majority of car dealers are small business owners. And we work on razor thin earnings on the cars we sell and the cars we service. We're not huge companies. My business is a fast paced, high volume one, high pressure I might add as well. And you have to constantly evolve with technology, federal regulations, and consumers' wants and needs. If you don't, you won't survive and you'll go the way of the dinosaurs. We remember them, right? But most people don't know that dealers are sandwiched between the demands of manufacturers and our consumers, and that we deal with dozens of federal regulations that can cost independent businessmen and women millions of dollars every year. Dealers often take a bad rap as well, an unfair one, actually. And one of my jobs as NADA chairman this year is to set the record straight and to talk to reporters, media outlets, and make statements on Capitol Hill and let people know what the automobile industry is really about. My point in all of this, it's plain and it's simple. To do what you love, you sometimes have to stand up for it, and it's so true in life. My business is not an easy one. My father taught me that. But there is a way to get through the challenges in this business world that we're in. Northwood University taught me that. Your teachers taught you that as well. So take that knowledge and don't let anyone stop you going forward. And ask yourself, what does the world not know about my business? And go out and tell the world about you and your business. But most importantly, be persistent. And that doesn't always mean moving forward or even getting at a steady pace. Actually, you may have to take a step backwards at times in your life. Life is a long and winding road. But because of your education, because of the grit you showed in your classrooms, after hours, and in early mornings, you will win. You know, I always wear this when I'm out cycling. It's something that I love to do, and it clears my mind when I'm away from work. There was a great basketball coach by the name of Jimmy Valvano, Jimmy V for short. He was the head coach of NC State around the time that I was here as a student. Jimmy passed away way too early at the age of 47. And something he always said and he lived by stuck with me. I have it engraved right here, and it says, don't give up. Don't ever give up. It's simple, but it's words to live by. 
Because there will come a day when certain people around you, they won't be there to support you. They don't have the, your best interests in mind, and sometimes they won't have your back. When you encounter that, don't ever give up. Don't forget the moments here at Northwood as well that inspired you. Don't forget why you wanted to be in the field that you're in. My experience here at Northwood University was truly one of a kind. Going to the school in my industry was like going to Harvard for law. The reputation is recognized throughout the nation and around the globe, and it has served me very well. The annual campus auto show gave me something to aspire to. Back in the day, I was chairman of the Chevy team here on Midlands campus. That experience showed me that the car business was huge. My time here inspired me to reach new levels in my own life, and I hope that it has uh, reached new levels in yours as well. My experience showed me that I can dare to dream. When I was sitting in your seats, Ronald Reagan was our president. And as you know, President Reagan was an actor. And before, after he sat in the White House, after being an actor. And whether you voted for him or not, Donald Trump is a businessman turned politician. Someone who went from celebrity apprentice to the 45th president of the United States. So always remember, dare to dream. Finally know this, the good aura at Northwood will follow you outside these great walls. I am living testimony of that. You have been privileged to grow in this great environment with amazing business oriented minds, with families rich in their own legacies. So take that selfie today because you have earned it. It's your graduation day. You've, what you've accomplished here is truly amazing. So go out, rise to the occasion, and thank you so much, and happy graduation, fellow Timberwolves. And remember, don't give up. Don't ever give up. Thank you. I'm now calling upon Dr. Kristen Stehauer, our Chief Academic Officer and Chief Operating Officer of Northwood University to present our candidate for the honorary doctorate. Dr. Pretty, I have the honor to present Mr. Mark Scarpelli for the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Well, Dr. Stehauer and Dr. Fairbairn are hooding our candidate. Let me read you the citation we have for him. Northwood University is pleased to vest its highest honor on this occasion of its graduation ceremony on May 6, 2017, to Mark N. Scarpelli. Because growing up in the Chicago area, your values and beliefs were developed very early in your life as you learned the importance of family, hard work, and living the American dream. And because following in your father's footsteps, you began employment in his dealership by sweeping floors as a teenager, and where you then worked your way up from the bottom. And after your early education, you attended Northwood University, receiving your Bachelor's of Business Administration degree in 1986. And because wanting to gain further experience in the auto industry, you went to work for General Motors as a district sales manager on the East Coast to gain valuable insight on how the original equipment manufacturing side of the business is done. And then working with your father and your brother, your family has established itself as one of the preeminent auto dealerships anywhere in the country as your franchises have been awarded the General Motors Mark of Excellence each year since 2010. Because your appointment as chairman of the National Automobile Dealers Association follows other leadership positions such as the 2008 chairman of the Chicago Auto Trade Association and the 2016 vice chair of the NADA and as president of Raymond Chevrolet and Raymond Kia in Antioch, Illinois. And because you serve your community as a member of the Antioch Rotary Club, a director of the Better Business Bureau for Northern Illinois, 
the State Bank of the Lakes, and you've been recognized by a number of different awards in your hometown. And because you and your wife, Julie, also a Northwood University grad, cherish your children, Jessica and Mark Jr., and model and affirm the values of servant leadership as you support your community and this great country. Therefore, on behalf of the Board of Trustees of Northwood University, I am pleased to divest you with the degree Doctor of Laws honoris causa. Congratulations, Dr. Scarpelli.